All right, ladies and gents, welcome to this video. My name is Taylor Bintu. We're gonna talk about using Notion, which is a company wiki tool. It basically allows you to organize all sorts of different information about your company and your agency, anything you can possibly imagine or your personal life, whatever you want. It's a beautiful wiki. And for this video specifically, I wanna talk about building a wireframe in Notion. Okay, Notion, typically there's not many people who've ever talked about building wireframes within Notion, at least for software. Um, and this is something that I wanted to build within Notion, not within Lucidchart or something else because I wanted to store this information here because I really like this tool. So here's a walkthrough of how we actually did it. And I'm gonna show you some of the, here's some screenshots of what the software looks like first. So we're building a reporting dashboard for our agency to help better manage our clients uh, you know, advertising dollars that we're managing for them and give our team members basically uh, more time because this should help them save time and, and, and more effectively manage the accounts that they are managing. So uh, that's a super simple snapshot of what this software looks like. But here's what it looks like when it, when it started out in the wireframe, okay? And this is all done within Notion. So here's the home page, pretty simple. Now there's three major components to the wireframe itself. And we're gonna break down each one. There's the dashboard itself, which th these are the three uh, dash views is what I like to call them. So there's three different view types, or you can call them pages within the software, which I already showed you the three different views. There's the agency view, the manager view, and the account view. These are kind of different dimensions. Uh, that we feel is is, is important uh, for at least for our agency. Now, if you drill down into one of these dimensions, before we do that, the, there's the purpose of each dimension. So, like, what's the purpose of this page in the software? This is an important question. Let's make sure we ask that question before we go into trying to build something. What's the status? It's done, not done, almost done. Page priority. Basically, this is the prioritization of how we want our developers to start working on this project. The version. This is V1 for everything and, and, and the necess necessity level. Some of the things. Uh, that we have in here aren't necessary, so we decide to add that as a column. So drilling down, here's what it looks like. Um, it's really beautiful. The first question, when I was building this wireframe, again, all I had was bare bones. It was basically just primary benefit. What is the primary benefit of this agency view, which is a page view? Again, I, I showed you one of the examples, but here it is again. This is the page view that we're looking at. Uh, this itself is... Again, the benefit is to give the leadership entire team a pulse on all the accounts within a glance to help us basically see the overall performance of all the accounts. It, it helps us be more proactive with the clients that we have. And just a, a quick you know, parenthesis, side note for, for, for those of you who are watching this, software will become more and more important as your agency scales. I mean, we never really got too big into software until I would say four months ago when we when we started uh, thinking that we really needed some software for certain things. Um, it wasn't relevant when I was at 10K a month or 20K a month. So if, the, if those of you are, if you're running an agency and you're only 10, 20,000, it's likely not relevant at this stage. But uh, it gets fun. When you scale, you start to really think, okay, there's a lot of things we could build and automate if we started plugging into different APIs and, and had some developers on hand. Back to the main point here. Primary benefit, then we have the, what are the features of this page? And then here's a simple page wireframe. It's just an illustration of what this page is gonna look like. It's, it literally, it was is kept as basic as this. And then this page, of course, you can see there's these different components within the page. Each of these components are basically what I consider features. These features or these components are described in depth in this uh, table here. And so if we click into the metrics bar plus graph feature, the, 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 the wireframe skeleton that I used when I was filling this out was, okay, what's the feature summary? Like, what is this thing actually gonna do? What's the benefit, uh, feature benefit? It's a good thing to, to, to ask yourself when you're thinking about building the wireframe. Like, any little thing that you wanna add to it, okay, what, what, what's the summary of the feature that we're adding here, and what's the benefit of this feature? Uh, the UI placement, so where it's gonna go, the UI functionality, how, how are you gonna interact with this component on the, the, the dashboard itself? And then the description of how it works and, 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 and the details of that. So I found this to be beautiful. It took me like three days to really kind of figure out, okay, what is the structure gonna look like? But all you need is this bare bones framework uh, and then you're, you're golden. Once you have that bare bones framework, then your brain's like, okay, what's the feature summary? What's the benefit? What's the UI plan? And your brain just starts going to work. So really most of the work you're gonna put in is actually just figuring out how can I set up this, this, the, the right questions and the right structure within Notion to get the information I want out of my head into an organized fashion. 
And that's really what we did here. So again, agency view, this is the high level of the dashboard. There's three main, this is like the page view, right? There's three pages in this dashboard. Uh, if we drill down, what is what is on this page? These are the features that, that will, the things that will be shown on this page. And here's an illustration. I found that really this is all you needed. Uh, and our developers have translated this simple thing with like a basic illustration. And again, the, the other stuff that I showed you, which is basically uh, this stuff here, um, they, they, they translated this beautifully into what is looking like a very beautiful software. It's not done yet, so you know, fingers crossed that it works properly. But the last thing is custom components. It's the exact same thing as what we're talking about here. It's just custom components of uh, d basically something similar to uh, what we were showing earlier, but all of it follows the same structure. So why is this beneficial for you? Well, if you're thinking of building a wireframe, whether it be for a software that's getting plugged into the API or just a really uh, complicated um, automation that you need to build and, you build and you're thinking of hiring somebody on Upwork who's a developer, or you're thinking of hiring a developer in-house full-time or whatever, I really enjoyed this process. And so I just wanted to make a video sharing it with, with people who are obviously interested in this type of exercise of building a wireframe. And so hopefully this was value, valuable for some of you guys and hopefully you found it intriguing. I, I really enjoyed this whole process. It was, it was absolutely beautiful. Now, the last thing I'll say is, uh, yes, Notion is not traditionally used for wireframing, uh, and there's many other softwares that are used for wireframing, but I actually found this to be a lot easier uh, because a simple illustration, when you pick up a pen and a piece of paper, it's pretty easy to kind of jot down what's in your mind. Uh, and you have when you have a, a great structure for organizing and typing out the information, which I found Notion to be exponentially better than the other wireframing tools. Lucidchart is one tool example, and there's multiple other uh, wireframing tools. Uh, I found it to be a lot better personally. I'm not a wireframing expert, so I'm not really the best person to listen to or talk to when it comes to if your full-time job is doing wireframing, but. Anyways, I'm gonna make future videos on how we use wiki, this, this wiki tool in different ways and hopefully you found this uh, valuable. If there's only one thing I ask of you, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You guys, this is kind of a different video, but I really wanted to make this. So thank you so much, hit the sub button. Only thing I ask of you, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.